Okay, there's a few ways of doing this, but I've got an example up here of two images and I'm going to show you how I do this. So I've opened this up to make it a bit easier. Let's copy that and go over to a square canvas, which we're going to be using for this purpose. Zoom out. Let's resize these images so we can use these as our scaling. So there's one image. Let's go back over here, grab the second image and bring that back over to my canvas. Paste that over here. And let's just read. I'm using shortcut keys, so sorry if you can't see this. If you're following the tutorials, you'll know I use the Photoshop file that allows you to use Photoshop shortcuts within GIMP. So make sure to check that out. It's actually very handy. Okay, let's get that nicely scaled it up so we can fill this screen. And then I'll show you. Okay, so we are dealing with layers, we have a top layer. And we have a bottom layer. Let's move the bottom layer over a bit as a move rather than a there. So now this is going to be very simple. We have two layers. I get a rubber. Make sure your rubber selection is in a nice. Let's go whack. Let's go whack. That is actually quite harsh. Can I make that a bit more lower hardness and a bit more fluffy? Fluffy. Okay. Mm, kind of, but it needs a bit of work. But that's basically blending two images with the idea of let's get some opacity going on there as well. Let's make that brush a little bit bigger. And that will allow us to adjust it a bit more. Okay, make that size a little bit bigger there. Let's go whack. You'll see I made the opacity a bit lower. So now that's merging two photos together. And that lets us have like a bit of a different view on it. So you can see, let me do a new layer so it doesn't give you the marching ants around it. There. So that's not a bad layer there, there, mate. Let's move that bottom image up a bit so our feet aren't cut off as much. So there you go. That looks like a decent edit quick selection and merge of two images hope you like it check out the other videos guys